One of the first steps that we take uh, when you're going to do something in animation is you have to actually create the characters you're going to move around. Uh, in this particular music video here, we had the inspiration of the original cover from the album, the CD, uh, that uh, Greg Capullo and I put together uh, that was out at the storefront. So if you take a look at that piece, not only are you going to see the character that's going to end up being the hero in the show, or in, in this video clip, but also all the other people that are in the crowd. And some of those characters, if you look closely at the album cover, are actually going to be in this video here. We're going to have a handful of them. A couple of them are the young blonde lady down in the corner here. She'll be in here again. Some of them just very quickly. Uh, the young black female here with the halter top. Uh, again, you know, nice, pretty, beautiful women will always sell. Uh, we've got our guy with the nose ring, the dude mon, with a little bit of the grunge look. He, he's going to be in there. Uh, as we go through it, uh, we have to create uh, the various characters again here. I had some notes I had to make. I thought the eyes were a little bit wrong. I thought the mouth was a little awkward again. Sometimes I draw right on the pages here and say this is how the lips are supposed to look, and I do a yes and then I, I show them what the no version is so they actually have something that's uh, comparable to it. Um, one of the other characters that's very popular is our little goth chick. Um, and so you design her, which is what we have here in black and white. Uh, then we come in there and do some uh, sort of dark modeling to sort of see what she's going to look like on the screen with a little bit of shadowing on her. And then ultimately we'll get into and start playing with some color schemes. Um, Obviously, this one here has a little bit too much of a flesh tone compared to what you see on the CD cover, and so we'll make sure that we modify that uh, and get her to be a little more pale, not not ghost-like, but a little more pale, just to uh, give her a little bit more reality as to uh, what she looked like on that cover. We'll probably even make sure that we fix that eye so that it has that sort of tear blood drip uh, going there. Um, and then any show, you have to have your villain. Uh, this is what we have here, our quasi-stormtroopers. Um, again, here's a rough of what they would look like, and then here they are with some black in here. Um, some of these characters were created, again, uh, by Greg Capullo, who's helping me on here uh, with this uh, video in terms of the character design. As you can see, we wanted to give sort of almost an insect-like face, but to have a lot of black leather, and again, give this sort of dark and mysterious, and, and here's a color version of him. Um, so that he's nice and black. Uh, the big guy, obviously, is our hero. The character we created uh, from the smiley face of the first couple of CD uh, album covers, which was just the eyes and the face. Um, and so here's an early rendition of it. Here's some of my m notes, making sure that the eyes get done better and the face is a little more sinister. Uh, again, it's, it's really important to me. Here's, again, another one that's in color, uh, that has the face and the eyes. There's a note down here of how you do the eyes and how you don't do the eyes. I don't want them to look like a little alien guy. I want them to look sort of mean and squinting on it. And then once we get that, then we sort of approve that we do our black and white drawings around it so that we can end up doing turnarounds, which is what, is what you see here. This is a page that actually has my mouth drawing, my eye drawings sort of redone on it. And then you can you got back drawing. And then once we get even closer, which is a better page, this is the one now we come in and we see the full color, plus we see sort of the gnarly little teeth on it. And this is going to be the guy that we're going to be following throughout the entire quest of this uh, four-minute video.